Hey everyone, I'm Tori Boggs, 30 time Grand World Jump Rope Champion and World Record Holder. I'm here to give you my top five jump rope tips for beginners as part of the Brooks Running Make a Run Edit campaign. Let's make a run at jumping rope. Coming in at number five is to know your types of jump ropes. Beaded ropes, PVC ropes, wire ropes, these are your main players to know. Wire ropes are mainly for crossfit or jump rope competitions. They are made for one directional plane of movement and speed and will typically be paired with handles that have ball bearings and a 90 degree rope to handle exit angle. They do not provide a great starting point for beginners because they are so light and not able to reinforce important foundational techniques. Beaded ropes and PVC ropes are great options for beginners, and I definitely encourage you to start on those. With beaded ropes, you get a lot of sensory feedback from being able to see the rope as it travels in front of you, hear the rope as it travels around you or strikes the ground, and feel the rope's weight in all parts of the revolution. PVC ropes provide a lighter alternative to beaded ropes with an added flexibility of movement. I recommend starting on beaded ropes and then going to PVC, but with either rope, you'll be off to a great start. As far as short or long handles, longer handles are gonna provide more rope reach and can be helpful for more advanced skills, but it's really personal preference. It's common to start on a beaded rope with short handles, go to a PVC rope with short handles, then graduate to a PVC rope with long handles. Tip number four, size your jump rope to you. A common mistake for beginners is to start out with a rope way too big or way too small for them. Mistakes get made, people get frustrated and discouraged when it was actually just an equipment error. So get a jump rope that is easily adjustable in size and not locked into a length upon purchase and measure your rope like this. Stand on it with both feet and pull upward on the handles. The handles should reach somewhere between your chest and the bottom of your ribcage. This length can change as you improve your jumping technique, so start on the longer end and get ready to make adjustments as you go. Coming in hot at number three, prioritize injury prevention from the moment of picking up a jump rope. It is true that jump rope is one of the healthiest exercises you can possibly do, but like anything else, start on the front end with the best preparation possible so you can enjoy jumping rope for a long time to come. This means warming up before jumping, emphasizing lower body and dynamic exercises, making sure to stretch out your muscles to improve your flexibility and accelerate recovery post jumping, wearing proper supportive footwear, and replacing your shoes if you are jumping regularly, and listening to your body. If you're starting to feel pain in your shins, Achilles, knees, ankles, and so on, stop jumping and reevaluate your training. And of course, rest is critical. So take some time off from jumping each week to avoid injuries and fatigue from going too hard. This brings us to number two, build into jumping. On day one of learning to jump rope, don't go for 30 minutes. Your body will feel it and it needs time to adjust to the load and impact that your muscles, bones, and joints take when first starting out. The same goes after a significant amount of time off from jumping rope. If you're just beginning to jump rope, start with six sets of 20 seconds of jumping and 10 seconds of resting. If you need more rest time, take it. But don't do more than 30 seconds of jumping when you're first learning. Bonus tip for this one, never increase your jumping time and intensity during the same week. Whether your goals are to learn jump rope skills, improve your endurance and tone your body, increase your power and explosivity, or lose weight, strength and endurance both come gradually. They can't happen if you start off injured from week one. And here we are for my final tip coming in at number one, break everything down, or how I like to say it, Celebrate the little wins. Jump rope is such a progressive sport and exercise. There is an entire established system of skill progressions. If your goal is to do consecutive double unders, you're not gonna do them on your first day picking up a rope. 
A lot of people try jump rope skills they've seen right off the bat, which is like shooting a soccer ball before learning to kick. People will give up jump rope thinking it's not for them, when in reality, they were just moving from point A to Z without learning the great stuff in the middle. Jump rope involves so much body coordination and a lot needs to time up for even one jump to happen. So start with building your arm swing techniques, then lower body movements, master the basic jump, learn to control your rope, and then you'll be able to progress through skills quicker and build your jump rope knowledge and fluency, having a great time along the way. There are hundreds of jump rope skills to learn, if not more. It just requires consistency and time spent getting to know the rope. There you have it, my top five tips for starting to jump rope. If you're new here, welcome to the jump rope community. I'm excited for you to get started and I can't wait to keep dropping more jump rope knowledge for you. Comment below, I'll be reading and answering your comments and questions. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, happy jumping. Presented by Brooks Running.